When you have a tooth extracted, we would expect the area to bleed and then a clot to form. The clot then forms over the actual um, socket and it protects the underlying tissues from um, food, drink, bacteria, and it allows the underlying tissues to actually heal. Dry socket is inflammation of the uh, extraction site after you've had a tooth extraction. So it happens where the clot has failed to develop and um, the underlying tissues have become exposed to the external environments. Dry socket is also known as alveolar osteitis. Things to do to try and avoid dry socket are after extraction, avoid spitting, avoid um, smoking, um, avoid doing any salty water mouth rinses for 24 hours. And if you are bleeding, to use your packs that your dentist has given you or roll up a clean handkerchief or something and apply pressure to the extraction site rather than trying to rinse out or spit out because all of these actions can actually help to dislodge the clot and lead to dry socket. The exact cause of dry socket is unknown but there are certain things that predispose you to dry socket such as hormonal changes for example if you're menopausal or pregnant, certain medical conditions, if you're a smoker and also obviously if you have eaten or drunk or had a mouth rinse too quickly and you've not used the packs that your dentist has given you to stem the bleeding. Sometimes you can get a bacterial infection of the underlying tissues after you've had an extraction done and that can have an impact on causing dry socket. If that is the case then please do go and see your dentist because you may need further treatment to help that area heal. Dry socket can be quite common. It develops 24 to 72 hours after you've had the dental extraction done. When you have dry socket, you can um, feel intense pain. Most people actually say the pain is worse than when they had their original toothache. Um, it's very inflamed. There can be some swelling um, and an acute dull throbbing pain. If you have dry socket, you can get bad breath or a foul taste in your mouth as well. Go and see your dentist to treat your dry socket. The dentist will clean the um, dental socket out and flush it out using special dental products and equipment and they'll be able to pack it with a sedative dressing for you um, and that you may need some antibiotics depending on um, what your dentist thinks. Over-the-counter medications such as ibuprofen or paracetamol can help you with the pain for um, dry socket. You can try and prevent yourself from getting dry socket by avoiding smoking, avoiding uh, spitting out too soon, avoiding eating or drinking too soon, try and stick to a soft diet. Things like bananas, um, jelly and ice cream, yogurts are quite good and try and avoid any strenuous exercise. If you do have any bleeding, try not to spit out or rinse out too quickly. Try and use a special pack or roll up a handkerchief and put some pressure on the site to try and encourage the clot formation. If you have dry socket, you can get complications such as pain, infection of the bone underneath and delayed healing. Complications of dry socket are rarely serious, however, it can be very intense pain, um, so you may be beside yourself with pain, you may not be able to do anything else, and it can cause dental infections underneath, so um, although they're rarely serious, you must go and see your dentist for any treatment if you do have dry socket.